Hey guys, it's time for our capsule sermon here on Sunday night. I hope y'all aren't getting tired of me giving uh, giving sermons from the old square body rebuild here. But the more time we spend out here working on things, the more Clancy's learning, the more I'm learning. And God just keeps showing me different things as we're working on this truck that are applicable to my life and hopefully that you can apply in your life. So... Um, yesterday we started rewiring the entire cab of this truck and we got down over here to these doors and when you open your door jam you find a little switch in here like this and when your door is closed this switch is pressed and it, and it stops the, the ground from connecting which what happens is is that doesn't let the lights come on in the truck but when you open your door this little switch grounds out and then the lights come on and that really got me to thinking about how in our lives, if we don't open the door to Jesus, there's no light in our lives. And listen to what the Bible tells us. This is in the book of Revelation. This is chapter 3. And this is verse, verse 20. It says, Revelation chapter 3, verse 20. It says, Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him and he with me. Wow, that's pretty powerful, guys. <clears throat> I know a lot of y'all have seen those pictures in churches and different places of Jesus standing and knocking at a door. And when you look at that picture, most often you see that there's no doorknob there on Jesus' side. And the reason for that is, is it's our responsibility to open the door and let Christ in, to let the light in. When we open that door, just like in these pickups, when we open the door to Jesus, the light comes in, the light comes on. Guys, without Jesus in our lives, we're just dark and dull. So I challenge you folks, if you're in a dark spot in your life and you feel like there's no place to go, open the door and let Jesus in. Let the light come into your life. Just keep on keeping on. Remember that you're not alone no matter how dark it feels in your life. Jesus is there waiting to come in. Guys, I love you. God bless you. And y'all keep praying.